And you're putting what inside? Deep fried shrimp that is battered in fruity pebble batter. Is that legal? The State Fair of Texas opened in 1886 as a livestock exposition. After over a century of bringing people together, it's now a world-renowned event, attracting over 2 million guests from all around the world with fun activities let it go, let it go. and even more fun foods. You can say goodbye to your waistline. They're known for the classic fair foods you'd expect to see. That's very thick Oh, But this is also the home of wild, out-of-the-box food innovations. That's why I'm here today. We're starting with their stunning but strange sandwiches. Calvin, <laughs> sunny. Welcome to the State Fair of Texas. Oh. Calvin and I are on a mission. Howdy. There you go. To uncover the five most bizarre, unique, inventive sandwiches at the State Fair of Texas. I'm looking for someone to think outside the box. Nay outside the bun. From hoagies incorporating breakfast cereal. When you take too much melatonin and you have insanely vivid lucid dreams, that's what this is. To giant red buns that really leave a mark. I've never had a sandwich that will literally change your skin color. In the end, we'll tell you which one gave us the most bang for our buck. Let's go eat. Let's go. Wait. Wait. Wait, actually? For real, wait? No. Let's go. Okay. Today's sandwich battle starts with the new kids on the State Fair block. Mississippi and your name. Who has the most essence? We do. Southside Steaks and Cakes. Mike Tyson would struggle saying that name. Southside Steaks and Cakes are making their debut at the State Fair of Texas this year. They've curated a menu full of dishes that don't follow any conventional cookbooks or recipes. It has a lot of soul behind the food. Their food comes from the heart, influenced by neighboring cultures as well as what they grew up with. They've got hood tacos. What part of it is hood? The hood stands for the culture, so we can reach the people that we reach out to the most. There's also Steak Chos, a collab between steak and Dorito chips. We kind of dance when we're doing it, bring passion to it. Calvin, you make tacos. Do you dance or do you remain motionless while you do it? Girl, you ready? <laughs> This is a very mm. good dance. Here we have something called a south side. And you know, it's a oh. nationally known oh. dance. Yeah, come on, get to it. Now for the first sandwich of the day. And this one is gonna get messy. We're getting the realest cheesesteak. This thing is absolutely stacked and packed. First, saute chicken and steak with onions and bell peppers. Then mix those two meats together. Add butter, a special homemade seasoning, and then three different cheeses on top. Three cheeses? Three cheeses. We've got yellow American, provolone, and pepper jack. On the side, mushrooms and banana peppers. Stuff all that inside a toasted French roll topped with their secret Texas sauce. It's not a Philly cheesesteak, it's a cheesesteak done the Texas way. Calvin, do you know what it's time for? Party time. You gotta whip it up. Oh, we gotta whip. whip. Yeah. Now you have to break it down. Oh, 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 oh my God. God. Look at this sloppy, beautiful mess right here. Handle ability, not there. I tried to pick it up and the bottom broke out, but delicious ability on a 10. Well, you didn't try it yet. That's true. Okay, let's find out. Wow. The mixture between the chicken and the beef, they really meld well together. And that provolone cheese brings it all together. Oh, I love provolone. I love you too. There's a secret sauce in this that I'm not really understanding. It's kind of like a ranch chipotle mix, something mm. like that. That really brings in a different contrast to what usually is just a Philly cheesesteak. This makes it a Texas cheesesteak. I'm just gonna scoop the fillings, screw the bread. I'm just going for the innards. It's just seasoned perfectly. The steak has a nice texture to it. The cheese is kind of gooey and gooey and combining all the other elements together. That to me, my friend, is a damn good sandwich. Is that something like Texans do? I saw it on a cartoon once, and he had a big Texas hat. And he ah. said, Arriba, arriba, arriba. Is that still allowed? Round two, a sandwich that leaves a mark. Literally. This is Calvin. You can uh, fist bump him, maybe. That's probably good enough. Okay. Fruteria Cano, a family run Mexican food joint that's bringing the flavors of their 26 year old restaurant here to the state fair. We got tacos, flautas, we have a machete. I heard machete is like a, a knife. Machete is a long uh, quesadilla. Why don't you just call it a quesadilla? It's shaped as a machete, so might as well put it in They have no choice. You guys have been here since 2013. Has the menu been the same the whole time? No, we saw a need that we wanted a wow factor, and uh, Pambazo is one of them. Now, okay. you grew up in California. There's a lot of Mexican food in California. Had you ever heard of a pambazo? Never. 
First, warm the bread up on the grill, then red it up with guajillo or dried chili sauce. On the side, grill chorizo and potatoes. Is this something you eat at the breakfast time, lunch time, dinner time? In Mexico, you can eat it anytime. Throw that meat mixture onto the bread and add a week's worth of lettuce. Then to balance out the healthiness, sprinkle on a lot of cotija cheese. It's a very crumbly and salty cheese. Is it like a Parmesan? Imagine Parmesan in Mexico. Finally, top it with sour cream. Our faces are about to get very red very quickly. The chorizo is really savory. The potatoes, really nice crunch. But the star of the show, it has to be that bread. The bread is just so fluffy. It goes so well with these really heavy ingredients inside. It has a ton of flavor. It soaked up some of that heat. Ooh, and the cheese. The cheese is so sharp. It's tangy. I don't even want to know what my face looks like right now. It probably looks like I was boxing Mike Tyson. I love how this is traditional Mexican street food. You're walking through Mexico City, we're hanging out, and we're having bambaza. I've never had a sandwich that will literally change your skin color. Definitely a unique experience, one of a kind, and it will leave you with a mark, hopefully, for life. Next, a food stall kicking out sandwich innovations that are downright reckless. What's it called? Get fried. We've come here to get fried. Welcome to Get Fried. Honestly, you'd have to be a bit fried, either from heat stroke or some herbal enhancements in order to dream up this menu. Howdy. That's a little regressive. Howdy. Oh, all right. Howdy. There you go. Howdy. Okay, enough. We've got stuff like deep fried pickles and chicken in a pineapple bowl, but that's not even the best part. For this year's fair, they've created two new sandwiches that literally push the limits of what a sandwich can be. I'm talking about their chickeny Krispy Kreme creation, which we'll be trying soon. And then there's this, the Fruity Pebbles Po' Boy. The Po' Boy is made famous in New Orleans. And it's kind of like a banh mi. Here, you have kind of like a personal baguette, and then you're putting what inside? Deep fried shrimp that is battered in fruity pebble batter. <laughs> is that legal? It's Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas and better. First, they coat wild caught Gulf white shrimpies with their Cajun fruity pebbles batter. And you guessed it, it's time to get fried. Do they have the tails on? Yes. It's fried, honey. You'll be all right. Extra calcium, right? Now stuff the fried shrimpies inside a hoagie roll. Can we ask for a tailless? No. Can I have extra tails in my sandwich? Well, what are you? Finally, flavorize with ranch, sriracha, and fruity pebbles sauce. Then sprinkle on actual fruity pebbles cereal. This is the sweet, sugary cereal I ate as a kid, colliding with a New Orleans style sandwich. I'm looking at it, I can see it exists for real, but should it exist? This is like when you take too much melatonin and then pass out and you have insanely vivid, lucid dreams. That's what this is. Somebody has brought this sandwich from the depths of their imagination to my hands right now. You can smell the sriracha, the ranch, and then the sweetness of the fruity pebbles. It's either gonna be just confusing and baffling to my palate, or it'll be just like this new revelation. Let's try just the shrimp to begin with. Mmm. Mmm. I thought this would be on the sweeter side. It's not that sweet. No. This shrimp has all the flavors packed into it. It has saltiness, spiciness. I shouldn't like it, but I do like it. You do? I do. I could have sworn your mmm was a fake mmm. Go play it back. Mmm. Mmm. It seemed so fake. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm gonna get that shrimp deep in there. You can see it still kind of cascading out the front. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. The fruitiness, it almost tastes like it could be lemongrass. No? Yes. <laughs> you don't think so? No, I don't. The shrimp on it by itself, it's really flavorful. And when I say flavorful, I mean a tad bit salty. But with the bread, it kind of balances it out together in that course of the ranch and the sriracha and more fruity pebbles. I really didn't think I would care for it. But as I eat more and more of it, it's growing on me. The fruity pebbles aren't even a major part of the experience. It's just more than anything, it's giving it a little bit of a crunch factor. Agreed. It's really pretty aesthetically. I want to dip my wife in fruity pebbles now, but she's already pretty. So, so unnecessary. But for me, this might win most creative today, but I'm not sure we need to go back and check with amanda for one more sandwich wow that was quite an experience but next is the chicken donut sandwich and it is phenomenal calvin can you guess the ingredients donut mm -hmm. chicken Dude, nailed it this sandwich begins with deep fried glazed Krispy Kreme donuts. That's twice this donut has gone through hell for our own gluttonous glory. Will this sandwich cause cardiac arrest? Um, I plead the fifth on that one. Deep fried, a pickle brined southern battered chicken breast. It's like chicken and waffles, but better, way better. 
the build. It's not complicated. Deep fried donut, deep fried chicken, deep fried donut. This will either give my taste buds PTSD or put my heart in a state of paralysis. Let's find out. I love the whole sweet and savory combo. I wish more cuisines would do it. Like beef and pancakes. Bologna and cheese. Chicken and waffles. Like, um... Should we take a bite? We should. Oh my god! Dude, that is amazing! There's people right now will comment, oh, this is why Americans are fat. Do you know what we are? We're happy. This is delicious. Absolutely phenomenal. There's some kind of a beautiful crunch happening. Is that on the outside of the chicken? That is. That's a nice outer coating. Usually with chicken breast, I'm always scared that it won't be juicy. But this, this is juicy. Right here, you can see the donut has completely flattened out, hugging up against the chicken breast like a thruple. Like a what? When three people are in a relationship, they call it a thruple. I thought they called polygamy. It can be called that too, but that's kind of been outlawed and thruple is like a fun LA thing. Hey, we're all in a relationship together and I hate my dad. This chicken breast has been brined in pickle juice. It gets this nice acidic brininess. Every time you take a bite, you like feel the sugary glaze squeeze out of the donuts and wrap around the chicken. I'm in love. So far, we've had four unforgettable food fantasies come to fruition, but now it's time to stop playing. Our last sandwich contender is a legend at this fair. He's the guy who invented fried butter. We're gonna try that in a different episode. Man, I wish you guys had fried meth. Who says we Abel? don't? Meet the fry god himself, although he prefers to go by Abel Gonzalez Jr. You might have seen him as a judge on Deep Fry Masters. Sometimes you overspice it and it just doesn't work. This deity of all things delicious has won awards left and right for the past 19 years for blessing us mere mortals with heaven level fried innovations like this fried lobster tail drizzled in champagne gravy. That is luxury. It is luxury at the state fair. But today's not about luxury. Instead, we're trying out their cult classic sandwich. Sandwich. This is gonna be our fifth sandwich today, but it'll be the best sandwich. Today you're having our very first big hit, the fried peanut butter, jelly, and banana sandwich. Let's make this happen. These basic ingredients are all able needs to create an award-winning state fair attraction. Ready? First, whip up a regular PB&J, spread peanut butter, and grape jelly on two slices of white ass bread. The next step is inspired by the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. He would get a peanut butter and smash a banana in it and then fry it in butter. So oh. we just took that idea, fairified it, if you will, and brought it out here. Mash some fresh bananas and add that to the bread. Slap the two slices together, dip it in frying batter, then let it take a plunge in the good stuff. Does it also have bacon on it? Of course it has bacon on it. The final touches, grape jelly, powdered sugar, and bacon. Time to dine. Our fifth and final sandwich of the day. Are you prepared? I'm stoked. It reminds me of a Monte Cristo sandwich. A Monte Cristo is basically a sandwich that is buttered and fried. Buttered or battered? Buttered. Buttered? Is this battered? It's battered. Did they batter it with butter? I don't know, they did butter or batter. It would taste butter if they battered it with butter. Now there's butter in the batter. I think there's butter in the batter plus peanut butter. It's gonna make it taste much butter. If there's butter in the batter with peanut butter in the and now we're done. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a sandwich. It looks like a fine work of art. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go for it. <laughs> Powdered sugar will choke you every time. On the outside, it's crispy. In the inside, it is just soft and pillowy. It's fluffy. Mm. Bacon and sweet things. They go together, like me and Calvin. Would you be bacon or am I bacon? I'll be bacon. Wait, then I'm jelly? No, you're sweet. Oh. Is that sweetness? Is that savoriness? But I like the texture on this one. It's really, really nice. I may never ever eat PB and J the same way ever again. I think what makes it beautiful is the simplicity of it. These are ingredients that everybody in the USA has in their household right now, except for the batter and except for maybe an industrial sized fryer. But somehow, when you take these simple ingredients and slap it together in the way he has here, and you coat it with the perfect batter, it just elevates it to a whole new level. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a tough one. We have a big lineup today. The only thing we have to do from here, Calvin, is decide which one is the most creative and which one was the most delicious. Let's do that in a different location after a music break. The most creative sandwich today had to have been the Fruity Pebbles Paul Boy. Oh, I have to agree with you. Wasn't that crazy how they can take a very basic cereal but make it something completely extraordinary? Calvin, which sandwich did you find to be the most delicious? The most delicious sandwich I had was 
two donuts, and the chicken. It doesn't make sense. How can something that has two ingredients be good? It was phenomenal. Yes, I love that one. For me, I gotta say most delicious, the fried peanut butter and jelly with B&B. &B. Absolutely delicious. I love the idea behind it. I love Abel, he's an entrepreneur. And that's just day one of the State Fair of Texas. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A peace. Note to editor, we're just saying random lines since you never use our intros anyways. Calvin. <laughs> Sunny. Welcome to the state. Oh no, bring the energy. Yeah. Sunny. What oh, was that? Uh, the most delicious. What the? The most delicious. Wow. So howdy. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. You're getting a little too far on that. Y'all. There's no S on that. It's a y'all. YOLO. Definitely not. Yo you know all the bloopers are just me <laughs> being ashamed of you? I can't clap. Can anyone? Yeah. Cool. But you just pick it up and eat it like a normal sandwich. Just do it like Guy Fieri. Just make sure you got a good white, wide set on Like there. Guy Fieri. We don't use the F word on this channel. I'm so sorry. I'll take that back. It's okay. Edit. Guys, that is our video for today. A big thank you to my friend Calvin. You can check him out on YouTube. His channel is FKN Deliciousness. Follow Calvin, subscribe, and see what he's up to on his fun food adventures. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Oh, peace. peace. Can you roll me? It's a peanut butter.